this is Jennifer Thompson Kirsting and today we're going to walk through the Zillow group dashboard button that will appear on MFRlogin.com for our broker participants. In order to access that button what we're going to do is we're going to be accessing MFRlogin.com and then I'm simply going to log in using my credentials. Now once I've logged in to the MFRlogin.com you're going to notice that there's going to be a button on my dashboard in the top section that says Zillow Report Dashboard. Should be on the second line of icons, depends on how big your screen is, but for me it's going to show up on my second line and it says Zillow Report Dashboard. So clicking on the Zillow Report Dashboard will launch that dashboard on a new page and now we're going to have some options here and I'm going to walk through these options very quickly for you. Uh, the first is going to be the overview. This is where as history starts to build, as listings start to be fed directly to Zillow and Trulia via the Zillow dashboard here and the direct feed that they're going to be receiving through MFR as opposed to uh, the old way, you'll start to have some history here. So you're going to start to see the number of average listings per day. You're going to see the total search result impressions. So how many times are the listings being hit? total listing views and total leads that are being delivered back to your agents. So that's the overview. That's pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at the next button down which is going to be the offices button. Now because I am logged in as Mary Jo Cowan, CEO of MFR MLS and we don't have listings, we really don't have any offices here. So we're not an active broker participant as you are but you would see your office here you would also see any additional offices. So if you are the broker manager of three offices, you're going to see all three offices there and have the control over those three offices in one place. If you've, uh, if you've got 10 offices, you'll see them all there. So that's a great place. It's all in one particular summarized dashboard here for you. Feed control. This is important. This is where you're going to make the decision to syndicate your listings to the Zillow group or not. If you have opted in in the past through the uh, previous arrangements with List Hub, then you will see that your offices are turned on, your listings are being sent to the Zillow group, which now includes Trulia, and if you wanted to deactivate or opt out, you would simply click the button and slide it off. So it's a simple toggle on and off to turn the feed on or turn the feed off. The important thing to note here is that this is turning the feed on for the Zillow group. Remember, the Zillow group is now con containing not only Zillow, but also Trulia. So I want you to be aware of that. And you can't split the two apart. They are one in the same now, two different sites, but one control over the uh, syndication of the listings to, the, to that particular group. The next option really has no bearing on uh, on your, your your choice has no bearing on what happens because you as the broker are in control and this is uh, an option that Zillow has out there because some MLSs have asked for it but allow offices and agents to override the feed control it really has no bearing on it we know that you are in control of it so you're going to control things up here with the sending of listings there's no action that could be taken even if you turn that on nothing would happen Going down to the contact settings, another important button that you want to take a look at. The routing emails, the routing phone numbers. If you want to, to have a sales manager or an administrative person receive the leads that may be coming through from the Zillow Group listing displays, this is where you're going to put that contact information. You're going to put that email address or that phone number in those sections there or you might choose to just always email the agent as well. You could do both. And you could also go ahead and set the URL for the website. Now, this is a great opportunity for your listing office, your direct domain for abcrealty.com, to place that in that particular section. And what would happen is the consumer, if they clicked through the listing, they could actually get back to your brokerage firm's website if you included it here in the section that says set website URL. Make sure you save your changes. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down to the next section which is users and this is just telling you basically that you are, it's going to give your contact information and then your account information again it's just going to show your name and your email address. 
that's it for the Zillow dashboard, guys. There's not a whole lot more to it. Please remember, we're here to help you at MFR MLS, and we wish you great success.